today I want to talk about the monitor you frequently are asking about. Highly recommended in 2020, BenQ PD3220U. For disclosure, BenQ did send me this monitor for free last year, but this is not a sponsored video. I've spent quite a few months with this monitor and used it in different conditions from very bright studio to my quite dark man cave here. The design of this model is truly fantastic. This is what I wanted the monitor to look like for quite a long time. Like a very futuristic panel, no logos, no distractions. Anti-glare surface on the monitor is also highly appreciated. When it comes to changing settings in the monitor, you have two options. You have a joystick and several physical buttons on the back of the monitor, or you can use a hotkey puck that allows you quick switch between color modes, adjusting the brightness and changing the input of the monitor. This design is so pleasing to my eye that it became an inspiration for one of my case studies last year with a paper castle. The monitor in this video was uh, designed referencing this monitor behind me and I think this unit is definitely a great addition to any workspace. Previously I never used stands, I prefer to hook my monitors on the wall, but the stand in this unit is so slim that I decided to leave it as is. It's worth uh, mentioning that the whole unit was designed with MacBooks in mind. The finish of the stand is the same finish as in new generation MacBooks. As you can see, together it does indeed look like uh, two pieces of one ecosystem. This monitor has three USB-C ports, one of which is capable of delivering 85 watts of power. This means I only need one cable to charge the laptop and output the signal to monitor from it. The reason this wouldn't work with my amazing Razer Blade is because Razer requires 120 watts of power delivery. But with the setup I have here now, I don't need to carry charging cable at all. I just plug one wire and I'm ready to go. What about peripherals, you would ask? Let's have a look at the rest of the available ports. We have two HDMI 2.0 ports, one DisplayPort 1.4, uh, three downstream USB 3.1 ports for your peripherals and one upstream USB 3.1 to connect the monitor to computer in case your machine doesn't have any USB-C ports but you still want to connect things through the monitor. As mentioned we have three USB-C ports, one of which is downstream, second one is the port with 15 watts of power delivery and the last one is with 85 watts of power delivery. That is a lot of ports, right? I think this would be even better if they wouldn't ditch the SD card slot from the side of the monitor but these days I'm mainly shooting all my media on T5 SSDs which are connected through USB-C anyway so I'm not suffering that much. To conclude connectivity topic you can connect all your peripherals to the monitor, hide all the cables on the back of the monitor and still connect all of this to your laptop via one cable. This is 2020. And finally, the most important part of the monitor, the screen, the image. How is it? Is it good? These are professional monitors designed for professional use. They have a really strong color reproduction capabilities. To prove the point, all the monitors are coming with a certificate stating that the monitor was tested on factory. Apart from that, the monitor is Kalman and Pantone verified. The monitor is only 300 nits brightness, but it worked fine in really bright conditions. 300 nits of brightness is pretty cool for a 10-bit monitor considering the price. Thank you have monitors for all sort of markets from photographers to 3D artists. The reason for that is that different applications are better in different color spaces. Well, by default, they're all working in sRGB, but some of them would benefit from particular color spaces. The monitor has IPS panel with 100% of sRGB coverage. It's ideal for anything. Quite literally, in 2020, we're still mainly working in sRGB. 
sRGB as we know is really similar to Rec. 709 which in video industry is the standard color space so you have that but what's also good about this unit is that it covers 95% of DCI-P3 color gamut. DCI-P3 is a higher end gamut in video world that becomes more and more popular. It's quite safe to say that this monitor covers everything you may ever need in your professional work considering the design the price the practicality it's a no-brainer i want more of these hope you guys like that recommendation take care peace <laughs>